When does the, oh, the, 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 the radio bug bite you? Ah, uh, radio bug. I told you, I was scared, <laughs> scared of radio. radio. Yeah. I, was scared. I was scared of scared of radio. Radio was that thing that, because I loved it so much, I never imagined myself to be in it. Mm. Mm. Never imagined myself to be in radio. I mean, I listened to, what was then, Radio Zulu. Mm. So when you listen to Joshua That's Mlaba, like Ukozi, no? Ukozi now. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there was about Joshua Mlaba, Malindi Ganduli, about Bojoz and Zimande, Cyril Bongani Mkhunu, Kansas City. Now, I mentioned those names, and I'm just like... In awe. I'm just like, guys, come now. Mm. You know. The first time I saw Kansas City at in Newcastle, at... Um, in my dad then, in the stadium, I bought it back and everyone are performing there. I just like, my God, I was like scared, I froze. Mm-hmm. You know, was, yeah, yeah, I'm a nobody. But now in Kansas, mm-hmm. I was just like, my God. That is how much in awe mm-hmm. I was of him. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it was at the Rumelin Stadium and I, it just didn't. So when I came to Joburg, I wanted to do TV, like yeah. I said. But radio, no. I mean, I was listening when I was a kid. Tabo Wilson, Gosi, Grand Shakwane, Mam Shadow, Twala, all of those people. I was just like, nah. mm. Can't be me. Not my league. Yeah. One mm. side. It's for other people. Mm. So I never, ever. So how does your like, first show come, come about? It's Romeo Kumal. Romeo Kumal. Yeah, Romeo just like gives me a call. Guy, are you watching there on TV? Mm. What you're doing on sport? Okay. Loving it. Mm. Please come and do that on radio. Ah. I must come on radio. And he was doing the repertoire then, yeah. you, you know, on Metro. So he does his, uh, finishes at six on a Sunday. He was like, oh, come in. So that's when I was supposed to start. Yeah. So he basically, there was no training. There's a big desk there. There's a control room. And Are you writing the desk? A, dude, I know nothing about radio. I haven't even called in to be shown where I switch on the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Romeo finishes his repertoire. I'm standing behind him. He says, uh, you, you switch on the mic here. <laughs> You play the ads there. Uh, Andrew Botobel is there. He'll take the calls for you. Yeah. I'll be listening in the car. Wow. And he walked out. Just like that. Yeah. Done. No producer, no nothing. Just yeah. like that was my induction in radio. Yeah. 30-minute show on a Sunday. And sure. From 30 minutes, it became an hour. From an hour, it became an hour, 30 minutes. And then and you're, you're still doing sports at that time? No? When yeah, you started, just yeah. sports. Just sports. sports. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. I want to be a DJ, nothing. Yeah. He just wanted me to do sport. And I was like, great. Wow. That's my kind of thing. So, But I was nervous, man. I mean, this is Metro FM. Dude, I'm talking about Metro FM from back then. Yeah. You know, yeah. When, when, you, yeah, when you talk about the radio Metro. Yeah. I'm talking about Metro FM. Yeah. I'm talking about radio Metro. Sure. You know, so when you put the name Romeo Kumalo to it, then you're talking about radio Metro. Mm. That was like the biggest commercial radio station in the country. Wow. So just to be a part of it for me, when you have context, ah, dude, it's surreal mm. because of what Metro brought into all of our lives, you mm. know. Mm. And I was just like, yo, I go, I don't know. But I, I, I did what I could do. And the bottom line, and people wonder, that's why I love being criticized. Yeah. Because I think criticism is what built me. Okay. So when I did radio, because the guys knew me as the TV person. Yes, yes, there's a lot and of backlash, like, ah, yeah. No, no, not even. The guys accepted they loved the show, but there was just a guy who worked for the Sowetan then. He was writing a column on radio. Every opportunity he got, I was yeah. clapping me, bro. Clapping me. You know, there were headlines where he's like, hey, pretty boy, Marawa, this, useless on radio, this. Or you. Mm. So I would read these things, and I'd be like, mm, okay. Okay, let me show them. All right, and then remember, Sowetan then is like the authority. Yeah, yeah. There's no social media. There's, yeah, you know, so that that is the mm, thing. Everybody mm, reads the Sowetan. Yeah. And what they say is gospel. Dude, this guy was clapping me eh? every single time. So so much so that you start to not believe in yourself. Sure. But then you're like, but why? What is the issue? And I remember that guy went left Sowetan, went to the Saturday Star to work there. The first column he got to write at Saturday Star was him. Clapping me again. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, <laughs> okay, Menze in Lobab. Yeah, you know? yeah. um, I don't even want to mention his name. I don't want to give him the, yeah, the credit. Nah. Yeah. All I can say is that, though, hey, I don't see Your criticism 
it built me. I loved it. Criticize some more wherever you are. You know yourself now. Hey! Yeah, I know. That's crazy.